H Street, Washington, D.C., from the new west to the old east. New project in the capital of the United States. Completely renovated building, in and out. CO received in 2014. Completely renovated interior and exterior in 2014. Located within walking distance to public transportation, Marlin Stadium, hospitals and medical centers, universities, schools, restaurants, supermarket, laundry mat, and two-minute drive to the 836 highway. As you make your way east, you see the street slowly shrink into its more modest, historic and trendy restaurants and bars past and present. The Queen Vic, a British pub loyal to form, Crown Fried Chicken, a takeout spot that serves an audience late at night, H Street Country Club, popular for its rooftop deck and mini golf course, and the concept of the Asian street market Maketo. Rising buildings, rising prices. Although the tram allows riders to look at the combination of apartment buildings and storefronts on H Street, it does not reveal what is behind them. Mostly urban homes that have remained single-family homes or have been converted into two- and three-bedroom apartments. When Tuck first moved two blocks south of H Street, the housing market was more generous than it is today following the development wave of the neighborhood to the east. Things to do, from the performing arts to perfect chips. The bottom line. In February 2011, when the now 35-year-old analyst from the Ministry of Health purchased her row house on H Street, the long-awaited revival of tram service in the neighborhood was scheduled to begin later that year. That April, when she officially moved into her home, the project was postponed until 2012. It will be another four years before the tram finally arrives in January 2016, and announced itself at every stop ringing a bell. Travel like hers, along 1.5 miles from the first tram stop at Union Station to the end of her H Street at 15th Street, before it tends to a few more stops along Benning Road, offers a great perspective on the transformation of this neighborhood in Northeast DC. On the west side of H Street, luxury apartment buildings and new chain stores are dotted with cranes announcing the impending arrival of new developments. As you make your way east, you see the street slowly shrink into its more modest, historic and trendy restaurants and bars past and present, the Queen Vic, a British pub loyal to form, Crown Fried Chicken, a takeout spot that serves an audience late at night, H Street Country Club, popular for its rooftop deck and mini golf course, and the concept of the Asian street market Maketo. Through the tram windows, the corridor of H Street produces a delicate balance between its permanent past and its transformation into something new. Russell De Leon, a bartender at the Pug, one of the popular bars in the neighborhood, saw firsthand the growing variety of neighborhood residents an intriguing mix of old and new. There are a lot of people who have been here forever, and a lot of young families who have only moved here in the last few years, he said. Ian Tuck, a senior budget analyst at the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, agrees. The main reason I love H Street is the people, said the now married Tack, who first moved to the street in 2009. I have created lifelong friendships here. Although the tram allows riders to look at the combination of apartment buildings and storefronts on H Street, it does not reveal what is behind them. Mostly urban homes that have remained single-family homes or have been converted into two- and three-bedroom apartments. At the northern end of the neighborhood, you can find smaller houses stacked in thick, tree-lined streets, along with larger federal-style Grand Dame residences. When Tuck first moved two blocks south of H Street, the housing market was more generous than it is today following the development wave of the neighborhood to the east. In 2009, it was much cheaper to rent on H Street than anywhere in the Northwest, he recalled. Since then, housing prices and rents have risen steadily. The median prices in the neighborhood were $689,000 for an urban home and $405,000 for an apartment. Renting one-bedroom apartments in the new development starts at $1,900 per month. The development momentum reported by Urban Turf in the neighborhood continues in earnest. Large-scale residential developments on the boards include Apollo, a 431-apartment apartment complex whose ground floor will be home to Whole Foods, H Street Connection, a shopping center demolished to make way for a mixed-use project, and the potential for redevelopment of the Chinger Mall at the intersection of H Street and Benning Road. To me, a thriving and vital neighborhood has something to offer everyone within walking distance, Jones said. On H Street there are bars, nice restaurants and cheap restaurants, and places for music and theater. Culture at the Atlas Performing Arts Center which is responsible for the neighborhood's second nickname, the Atlas Quarter. The beautiful Art Deco building is one of the pillars of the area and is home to jazz concerts, dance performances, theater productions and family performances. The area continues to grow, 
The once unsafe neighborhood has attracted over 100,000 people to this summer's popular street festival and is ranked alongside Logan Circle and U Street as one of the city's top nightlife destinations. However, for senior citizens the small changes are what matters. Really, the biggest change since I moved here is lunch, he said. There are a lot more places to have lunch now.